Hello, this is Steven Seifert. I typically like to use table edit on a Windows machine, but lately I've really been enjoying using table edit on Mac. Um, and it's really because of another piece of software called Keyboard Maestro that allows me to automate a whole lot of button pressing that would normally make my fingers numb. This is a piece of music I'm laying out for Nancy Barker, something she wrote, and she wants a little horizontal line under the tablature every time there's a half note. Okay, so what I have to do is expand the scale to 64th, put the cursor right next to the O, go to edit, insert, special character, hit the uh, right arrow key until I come to this horizontal line, click above tablature, click OK, now at this point, I've got that, but I have to hold down the minus key and move that horizontal line right under this bottom over here. So I'm right over here. Um, now I have to do that the first time for every new tablature, and then I can copy and paste. Well, things like this wear me out. <laughs> and so let me show you what I've been doing lately. I'm going to go back to the eighth note scale. Okay, so I've, I've selected this note. Uh, I made a, a, a command, control option, command I, which just takes me out to the 64th note level, so I don't have to click that button up there. I don't want to use the mouse if I don't have to. And then I'm going to just click here. And instead of doing all those steps to insert the horizontal line, I'm going to hold down control option, command B. Now watch. It'll actually go through all the steps that I did a moment ago, including repositioning that horizontal line and then from this point forward um, I can just command C to copy and I can paste that little line everywhere I need to now I don't even want to have to pick up the mouse to get down to this next half note so I made a command um, let's see command option right arrow and it will no, no, I'm sorry, command shift right arrow. It'll actually scoot that cursor for me a half note away. So I actually have two keyboards here so I can do this easily. So my right hand will do the command shift right arrow and the left hand will just do the command V to paste. And I can walk through the whole piece this way without wearing out my eyes and my, my hands might not seem like a big deal, but just to, to have this thing moving along on the half note level is really cool. Now, when I get through the whole piece and I'm ready to go back, I'm not going to come up here and click this three times, which I hate doing. Um, I'm just going to do Control Option Command O for out, and it's going to bring it all back in for me. Um, when I'm ready to work on a new tab, I'm going to go ahead and save this uh, command s when i'm ready for a new tab i have a, a template for nancy barker so control option command n is going to open up a new one it's going to let me save it and it's even got the um the right key signature for what most of her songs are and the right octave setting so let me show you what keyboard maestro looks like um, that little line she wants under the half notes over here on the right here's all the steps it takes to do this including hitting minus a whole bunch of times um, this create new tablature from a template it knows to open the template and then it, it automatically uh, offers to save it as a new name and, and I've got a whole bunch of stuff here for table edit like when I'm in the print preview and you've got to hit the proportional up and down to try to fit it on the page, I can do all that um, with, with just shortcut keys. So my idea is um, I'm going to keep uh, refining this thing. I'm going to keep making these little macros uh, to handle things in table edit that typically wear my fingers out. I'm going to try to use keyboard shortcuts more and uh, and the mouse less but I'm sharing this with you guys because if somebody else out there has a Mac 
and wants to, to do this, we can share some of these, uh, these little automations and we can refine them together. So uh, that's all. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Let me know if you come up with something.